Good morning, class. It's Mr. Wong here. So this time we'll talk about some language items. All right. So、uh, before we start, you can download、uh, this outline. Okay. So this is the outline of the PowerPoint slides. There are thirty items all together. So these items will be tested in our online quiz. Okay. Should be quiz three this time. All right. So make sure you know the meanings of these. Uh, phrases and idioms.、Uh, this will be tested. All right. Okay. Let's begin. So in the first part, in part A, we、we'll、talk about ten idioms. So we can refer to、uh, the outline when we go through the items one by one.、All、right. Because the first one, read between the lines. So what does it mean?、Uh, remember, lines should be plural. So to look for or discover a meaning that is implied rather than Explicitly stated. So, for example, look at the example here. Reading between the lines, I think Claire needs money. Said Tom. So, what does it mean? It means that oh, Claire didn't explicitly say that oh she needed money, but maybe she talked about、uh, her mom. Maybe her mom was sick, and then、uh, her dad had recently lost his job. So.、Um, She needed, you know, some help, something like that. So she did. She didn't mention that she needed money explicitly, but you understand, okay? The listener will understand. Or maybe, oh, she needs some help, All right? So read between the lines for meaning that is implied, okay? And on the house, you should be familiar with this one, right? If you have something on the house, it is given to you free by a business. For example, all the drinks are on the house tonight. That means you don't have to pay for the drinks, okay? They are free of charge. Next one on a shoestring or on a shoestring budget. Okay, so the word budget is optional.、Uh, okay, if you do something on a shoestring or on a shoestring budget, you do it with a very small amount of money. For example, the film was made on a shoestring. It means the budget was very small. They didn't have a lot of money to make that movie, right? So you can remember this picture: shoestring on a wallet. Okay. And then、uh, read someone like a book, so to understand someone's thoughts and motives easily. So I know what you're thinking. I can read you like a book. Okay, you can see through a person. Okay, you know what he or she is thinking. Okay, you know how someone feels. All right, read somebody like a book. And then off the beaten track.、Uh, so what does it mean? Look at the picture here. So to be or into an isolated place. So we wanted to find a camping site. It was a little bit off the beaten track because,、uh, okay, pay attention here. It should be off the beaten track, or it can be off the beaten path. P A T H path. They have the same meaning. Okay, so what is a beaten track or a beaten path? So a beaten track is one that people walk along regularly. Okay, so off the beaten track, somewhere that is,、uh, you know, it is isolated and not many people have. Gone there, right off the beaten track, and then six. Let one's hair down to be more relaxed than usual. Enjoy yourself. For example, I like I like to let my hair down on the dance floor. You can、uh, imagine this, all right. For example, oh, a girl usually has a ponytail, right?、Okay, but now, oh, her hair is like this messy hair. Okay, so she has maybe.、Uh, Let her guard down, and maybe she's enjoying herself, okay, dancing, something like that. So,、uh, if you have let your hair down, it means you're enjoying yourself, all right, and you're more relaxed than usual. Next seven, bring the house down. I want you to remember this example. Do you know who he is? You must know who he is, right? Wang Jiwa. Okay, have you? Have you watched his performance? Yeah, you know, I'm a fan of. I'm a big fan of, of his. Okay, so I think he's one of the one of the best comedians in the world. All right.、Uh, okay, to、so、make an audience laugh or applaud very enthusiastically. Remember,、uh, we talked about this word before. Enthusiastically, what does it mean? Passionately, right? So applaud is、uh, to clap your hands. Okay, to clap your hands. So if you can bring the house down, it means the audience enjoy your performance very much. Bring the house down. Okay. All right. Number eight, paint the town red. So what does it mean? Look at the picture. Oh, everything is red now. 
to the go out, sorry, to go out and have a lively good time to go on a drinking spree. It means that you drink a lot. Okay, if you go on a drinking sp、uh, spree, it means you drink a lot. Okay, and visit many bars and nightclubs to be boisterous. Boisterous means uh noisy, energetic, and rough. Okay, and wild. So let's go out and paint the town red. Let's have fun. Let's drink a lot of alcohol, things like that. And at night, look at the picture on the edge of one seat. So I think、uh, this picture is very clear. Okay, to be very excited and giving all your attention to something, because you want to know what is going to happen. Look at the sample here. They were both playing amazing tennis. Okay, so very good tennis players. Everyone was was on the edge of their seats the entire time. So everyone was nervous and they wanted to know who was going to win the game. All right. So on the edge of one seat. And then number ten, face the music. This one is、uh, special. Look at the picture. Face the music. Here, music is something bad. Okay. For example, to accept、uh, it means to accept criticism or punishment for something you have done. Okay. Sooner or later, I'm gonna, I'm going to have to face the music. I have to face the consequence of my actions. All right. The consequences of my actions. Okay. So, yeah. Face the music. Normally, something bad, criticism or punishment. All right. So these are the ten items in part A. Let's move on to part B. So in part B, we will talk about ten fixed phrases. The first one, at a loss, so to be puzzled or uncertain, what to think, say, or do. For example, I was so embarrassed that I was at a loss for words, so I didn't know what to say because of the embarrassment. Okay, I didn't know what to say. I don't know what to do. Or at a loss. And remember, this one should be the noun at the loss. L O S S, not S E. If it is S E, then it is a verb. Okay. And at odds with, so remember, it's plural form. At odds with, it means to disagree with someone. So, for example, they are at odds over the funding of the project. Or we can say they are at odds with each other. So we are at odds with someone over something. Right? At odds with someone. And then the next one at a standstill. So standstill, everything is not moving. Everything is stopped. So to be in a situation in which all movement or activity has stopped. For example, production is more or less at a standstill. Okay, look at the picture here. Maybe because of the、uh, coronavirus,、uh, production is more or less at a standstill. Right, everything has stopped. All right, number four at a glance. So you can look at the picture here. Excuse me. Uh, oh, sorry. All right. For example, immediately we start having to think or look carefully. So, for example, this is number one. Oh, look at her eyes, and then the man knew. All right. So he could tell at a glance that something was wrong. Maybe the woman was cheating on him. Something like that. Okay. So he could tell at a glance that something was wrong. Immediately, without thinking. And then five at a loose end. So what does it mean? Look at the picture. She looks bored. She has nothing to do. For example, you if you find yourself at a loose end, you could always clean the bathroom because if you have nothing to do, maybe you can help me clean the bathroom. Okay, it means to have nothing to do at a loose end. All right, the next one six at at large or、oh, at large is look at the picture prisoner at large. You can tell what it means, right? Uh, we usually use it to talk about a criminal or dangerous animal. For example, at liberty means a、uh, free. Liberty means free. Okay, escaped or not yet captured. For example, the the escaped prisoners are still at large because、uh, it means they have not been caught yet or at large. And then next at times, so plural, it must be plural. At times, it means sometimes on occasions. For example, you can be really annoying at times, you know. So sometimes you can be really annoying. All right, next、uh, at present, at present. So this one,、um, a situation that exists at present exists now. It means now, although it may change in the future. For example, there is no way at present. Of predicting which individuals should develop the disease, it means the same as now at present. Okay, at present. Next, 
Night at last this was easy it means finally in the end after much delay. For example, I've finished my essay at last. It means finally after making a lot of uh, effort. Okay, at last. And don't okay at last don't mix it up with lastly. So what is the difference? They are different. Okay, at last means in the end. Okay, finally. But lastly, it means uh, usually use it to refer to. The last point, okay. The last thing in the list, okay. For example, when you're writing an argumentative essay, you can say, "Oh, lastly," it means you're going to talk about the last point, okay. Lastly, okay. So don't mix it up.、Uh, don't mix them up. And then ten at least. So this one is easy, right? For example, you used to emphasize that something is good in a bad situation. Look at the picture here. It is a small hotel. Okay, it's so small, but at least there's a swimming pool. So small hotel, bad thing, negative thing. There's a swimming pool, positive. Okay, something good in a bad situation at least. All right, so let's move on to past season. We'll talk about collocations. So remember, but、uh, you know, okay. So what are collocations? Collocations. Okay, so uh, normally refers to uh. The combination of verbs and the nouns. Okay, so normally we use these verbs with these nouns. All right. So let's look at the first one. For example, time to relax. We say have or take time to relax. Let's look at the example. Look at the picture. Take time to relax. However, many studies now show that taking or having time to relax, gardening, going for a walk, simply resting, actually helps you be more productive when you're working. Okay, so take time or have time to relax. Okay, next, take it easy. This one is really easy. Okay, if someone tells you to take it easy or take things easy, they mean that you should relax and not do very much at all. So you can say, "Oh, take it easy. Don't be so nervous. Everything will be fine." Right, and then do an online crossword. So for crossword puzzles, we use do. So I do the times crossword every morning. I do the crossword. And four, bath,、uh, have a bath or take a bath. Right, so what is the meaning of soothing? If something is soothing, it makes you feel calm. Right, for example, I take or have a bath before going to school every morning. Right, take or have a bath. And then five. Oh, who are these people? We have Yanis and LeBron here. So for tickets, we say book the tickets or have tickets for a match. For example, have you booked the tickets for game one of the NBA Finals? I think, yeah, they are going to meet、uh, in the NBA Finals this year. Yeah, let's see.、All、right. Okay, number six, have an extravagant dinner. So what does it mean? For example, we say just have dinner, easy. But extravagant means、uh, something that is costing a lot of money, something that is very expensive. Okay, for example, we had. Extravagant dinner at Four Seasons last night, right? Very expensive. And then seven, have a party. So for party, we can say have a party. Mary has really wild parties, okay. And then eight, have friends over. This one, be careful. So have someone over means look at the、uh, definition here. If you have someone over, they come to your house for a meal, drink, etc. Because you have invited them, because、okay, so、you can have somebody. Over. All right, number nine. Book a table for two. Okay, so you book a table. You make a reservation for a number of people. For example, John has booked a table for two at his favorite restaurant. Okay, and the last one, ten. You can book a weekend break. You can take a weekend break. So what does it mean? Normally we say take a break, right? But we can also use book with the word、uh, with the noun break because.、Uh, If you book a break, it means、uh, you have you make a reservation at a place like a resort or hotel, okay, to enjoy yourself, okay. So you can say book a break or take a break, okay. That's it. So、uh, you have to complete online quiz three by this time on this day or the eighth of March. Uh, before midnight. I think the link、uh, is in the description or in the email. I've sent you, all right, and uh, so bef- uh, because this will give you a CA marks. Okay, so do complete the quiz before the deadline 
right? And one more thing, uh, I've produced or created some videos on basic grammar. If you go to my channel, okay, if you go to my YouTube channel, you see that there is a ba uh, playlist called uh, basic grammar. Okay, there are three videos now and I'll keep adding more videos. Okay, I'll keep shooting because in these videos, uh, I'll talk about very, you know, uh, fundamental, very basic uh, grammatical concepts. Like, uh, first of all, we talk about present tenses in the first video, and then the past tenses and the future tenses. If you want to um, understand more, or maybe to uh, clarify some concepts, for example, what is what is the difference between present perfect and past perfect? Okay, so uh, when we talk about things in future, uh, do we always use the future tense and uh, things like that? Okay, so we, I'll talk about uh, 13 types of uh, tenses in this video. So if you have time, please go and take a look. It will help you uh, improve uh, your grammar. Okay, so uh, take a look if you have time. All right, I think that's it. So uh, I'll see you in the next video. Remember to do the quiz. Okay, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.